everyone, it's April Rose and I am um, excited because I am just doing my own thing in the kitchen today. I do not have a recipe that I'm working from. So I was online and I was looking through these um, pictures and there was this picture of they made these little like apple pies but instead of crust they had snickerdoodles and I said that sounds awesome let me try to make that. So I have cut up um, three apples. I have two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch, I have a quarter of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and you're gonna love this. Um, you, this isn't necessary, but I love cooking with cardamom. Um, so I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom here. This is going to just, I don't know, like I think it elevates anything that has cinnamon in it. And then I have a, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, just because I like salt to bring out some of the flavor and things. And then I've got a little bit of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my food processor here. And this is just my manual food processor to cut this up. And I'm just gonna cut it up nice and small. Okay, so I've got this cut up nice and small, and you can see how nicely that that's cut that up. And I'm just gonna do that with all of my apples, and I'm gonna throw in all of my ingredients and put it on the stove and cook it down. So I'm setting this, my stove top, to medium heat, and I am going to go ahead and add my butter and my sugar salt and cardamom and my cinnamon. The only thing that I haven't added is my cornstarch and I'm just going to add my water to that cornstarch and just mix it around a little bit. That way I don't end up with all these little gloopy messes, um, these little balls of cornstarch. And I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to mix it all up. and cook that. Now my pieces, and I'll bring this over here so you can see it, my pieces of apple are really tiny. You can see that those are really tiny pieces of apple. So this is not going to take long to cook. So what I want to do is just bring it up to the point where it starts to cook because this is going to go in the oven later too. And the reason why I'm not going to cook it all the way through is because I don't want this to get mushy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooked and I'll show it to you in just a moment once it gets cooked down. So this was cooking, let me turn that off, for literally five minutes, okay? I watched the time for you guys. And you can see, look at how that is. So it took me no time at all to make this excellent looking, very yummy smelling um, pie filling. So put that aside and then it's time to make the snickerdoodle. So I've put together my ingredients for my snickerdoodles. I have a stick of butter, so that's a half a cup of butter, a cup of sugar, an egg from the ladies in the backyard. I also have a half a teaspoon of vanilla, some, um, some cream of tartar, and, and some baking soda. There's a quarter teaspoon of each of those, and a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a cup and a half of flour and it's just all purpose flour. So what I'm going to do is I have this butter. This butter has been sitting out on the counter a little bit. I'm going to throw that in my mixer and notice my Pampered Chef mixer. Um, I'm going to add the sugar, the vanilla, and the egg. So there we go. We've got everything in there and I'm going to hit this little Okay, put that down. Now this is my first time using this mixer. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see it. I will go ahead and set this. It's got cream and you'll notice if it says it's cream, it tells you here, if you can see that, what, um, what appliance to use. So I've got, my, I've got my blender there and it says how much time. I'm going to hit start and that's, there we go. I don't think I put this in place. Let's see, did I put it in place? Oh yeah, that's in place. 
And so that is going to have just the perfect amount of time for it to cream it while I go ahead and do something else. So this has now creamed. I'm going to turn this on onto mix. Okay. And as that mixes, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. So what I've begun to do is I have my brownie pan and this is the individual size brownies and I have Pampered Chef's um, press tool right here and I put the press in a little bit of water that way it um, that way it doesn't stick. So I sprayed down my brownie pan and I've got my scoop and I'm just taking a scoop and putting it in here, taking my press and putting it in and just giving it a little bit of a wiggle. There we go. Oh, still stuck a little bit. Pull that down. Okay. Just fix that up with my fingers a bit. And you can see that I'm now making these little divots into my brownie pan with my snickerdoodles. So I'm going to continue to do that, fill it all up. So things I've discovered. First of all, the extra large scoop was a perfect amount of batter to get it into my brownies and to make the little wells, uh, the little brownie pan. Um, the, as you can notice, I am missing three of these. So I think um, next time I make this, I'm going to do one and a half times my snickerdoodle recipe. That way I can make sure that I get all my wells in. So I'm going to take my medium scoop and grab some of the filling and just scoop it in. And the medium scoop is also the perfect size. It goes right to the edge. Let me show that to you so you can see it goes right to the edge. That's a perfect amount. I'm so excited for these. I hope this works out. Um, I have just enough leftover apple mixture that if I had enough snickerdoodles, I would have been able to fill these three. So this was the perfect amount of apple mixture. I'm just give you a look at that. Look at how delicious those are looking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw those in. My oven has preheated to 375 degrees. Throw that in. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes to start because I have no clue how long this is going to take to cook. So these were in for 14 minutes. I'm taking them out. There you go. You can see a look. Look how yummy those are. They've puffed up nicely. So I'm so excited for this. Look at this. Look at that. That looks so good, so delicious. And I hope it tastes as good because I really, really want to try it out. So I'm going to... Uh-huh. Yep. That is delicious. I took off way too big of a bite, um, but not too big of a bite. The snickerdoodle and the apple pair perfectly together. And this is so much better than like a regular apple pie. I'm not a huge crust person, but this right here is excellent. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this. Thank you for coming by, and I'll see you at some other point. <laughs> Bye.